2023 BMW X7 First Drive Review, the king of luxury SUVs. This week, BMW was kind enough to invite us to its home away from home, Spartanburg, South Carolina. The brand has a sprawling campus in the southern city. It was there, amidst thickets of trees and greenery, that we were led to our steed for the weekend, the BMW X7. This year is what BMW calls an LCI for the X7 or life cycle impulse if you don't speak corporate marketing jargon. It's a refresh, bringing some new hotness to the SUV version of the brand's flagship luxury 7 series lineup. The goal here, as BMW puts it, is to coddle 7 passengers in luxury and tech the likes of which you won't find in a Mercedes or Audi. Bold claim. Of course, what's a big six-figure luxury SUV without a little bit of physics-defying sportiness thrown in? The X7 has that too, with a new V8 engine for the M60i trim. Our brain stuffed with facts and figures, as well as breakfast, courtesy of BMW engineers, we set off through Spartanburg's hilly surroundings to find out what's what with the new X7. Exterior, controversially classy. Both X7 flavors, the 40i X-Drive and the M60i, drew a bit of controversy when the car debuted. People recoiled at the front end, much as they did when the M3 and M4 debuted. We're happy to report it's not as bad in person. The nose is large and a little garish, yes, but the photographer's lens can often make it appear larger than in person. BMW's split headlights also make it the SUV a little frowny, and the way the M version leans into the car's aesthetic more doesn't help. That aside, the X7 is a handsome SUV. Its proportions are right, even with the car's massive, and optional, 23-inch wheels. We were told that this is also the first ever BMW to be fitted with such large wheels. Thankfully, the SUV doesn't ride like it, but more on that in a bit. Both the front and rear fascias are totally new for 2023. We think the changes work the best on the 40i trim, with the chrome there to help break up some of the face's mass. At the rear, new lights with a 3D effect are joined by a chrome bar, a favorite touch of ours. In all, we'll leave the looks at this, you've got to see the X7 in person to judge it. Performance, perfect in any flavor. Each of the X7's two trims comes with its own unique powertrain, although both are AWD. First, the 40i, inside which lives a classic BMW powertrain, a 3.0-liter twin-turbo mild hybrid inline-six making 375 horsepower and 383 lb-ft of torque. That's up from last year's model by 40 horsepower and 52 lb-ft, quite honestly, this is a very potent powertrain. It's also a supremely quiet one that delivers its power smoothly all the way to redline. BMW's powertrain engineer explained the motor's 48V hybrid setup to us with 5-year-old at Christmas level energy. The unit's motor sits within the ZF-sourced 8-speed transmission's housing, nice and snug with the gears. From there, it can do anything a resourceful engineer would command of it. It'll act as a torque filler down low, or as boost torque temporarily during hard acceleration to 398 lb-ft, you activate that by pulling the left shift paddle for a full second. That means the base model hits 60 in just 5.8 seconds. But most critically for a luxury car, the 48V system can smooth out the car's start-stop system. And it does, to the point that the action is almost imperceptible. Of course, the one everyone wants to hear about will be the M60i's new V8. It's a 4.4-liter turbocharged affair with a 48-volt system of its own. 523 horsepower and 553 lb-ft send the M60i to 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds. The motor sounds turbocharged, but the note really shines from inside. It's stately, with not a hint of turbo noise and a deep V8 thrum at cruising speeds. The sound on the outside isn't quite as vocal as the inside BMW pipes noises in, but it sounds natural, and frankly we couldn't care. From behind the wheel, this is how all X7s should sound. All that go on the M60i is great, but BMW told us it also took special care to push the go-faster car's chassis. First, optional rear steer shrinks both cars around you, though it's standard on the M-tuned model. Active Comfort Drive with Road Preview is also standard on the M60i and uses camera-based anticipation data to scan the road before you and tweak the ride. You don't notice it at work which is truly impressive. 
Finally, an adaptive dual axle air suspension setup is found on both models, but the 60i also packs active roll stabilization, which helps to neutralize the car's 5,800 pounds frame in the twisties. It sounds like wizardry, but it works. Shoot the M60i into a hairpin, crank the wheel, and wait for the car to wash out. Only it won't, and you'll be back to making V8 noises. Driving Impressions, Autobahn Assassin. With that anecdote aside, now seems as good a time as any to get to the meat of this whole thing, the driving. Dimmer tossed us the keys to the M60i first, for a three-hour route through the heart of Southern Carolina. The green rolling hills were alive with the sound of tortured tires and V8 noises. The M60i truly does a solid impression of a sporty car. But not a sports car. BMW's engineers are brilliant but they can't kill physics. While the M60 is competent at pace, and stunningly so, its gobs of torque and clever chassis simply didn't deliver an M-worthy performance. Thankfully, launch control and ZF's rapid-fire gearbox helped to abate this feeling, and one stretch of South Carolina asphalt will bear the signs of our efforts for some time. However, the X7 is also a luxury car, as we well know. Thankfully, the M60i is far better at being that than a sports car. Its numb steering is perfectly weighted, something you'd hate in a sports car but find to be a trivial gripe in a luxury SUV. The V8's whooshing intake sounds fade to a deep hum after an on-ramp is dispatched, with the car settling into what it does best, eating highway at legal-ish speed. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.